Hi, I'm Bud Taylor, and today I want to show you some of the projects that I have been working on. Um, super inspired by Harry Potter and Universal Studios, and so I just want to give you guys a tour of what I'm thinking and what we've done so far, and uh, all the cool, cool stuff that we've got planned. So here we go. So I know this looks like a, a big mess, but I think this will kind of give a good overview of what we've done. So right here, we've got the Raspberry Pi 4. What that does is that's our computer that takes all the input and sends out the signals that we want it to send out. Right here, we have our light source, and you can see it's kind of purple. In real life, you don't see anything because um, these are ultraviolet infrared lights um, so they're invisible to the human eye and then that black dot in the center that's a camera and that camera will send all that imaging back into the Raspberry Pi from there the Raspberry Pi will use the black and yellow lines coming out and it'll turn on a uh, microcontroller within this lamp here as you can see there it just turned on And that'll run for about eight seconds. And that's all based on the programming. And then, of course, right here we have our, our typical computer layout. But you can see um, that we are running a script. Um, and that is to run the lamp. And as this can be uh, power heavy, so the consumption of power can be strong. Um, the Raspberry Pi requires about five volts with a 2.5 amp. Um, currents, I guess. Um, this design for the lights requires a 12 volt, uh, 1 amp, I believe. Uh, yep, 12 volt, 1 amp um, power supply. Um, we then have, you know, the microcontroller, which is kind of whatever. Um, and then the other one is the TV. Um, and that's going to require whatever the TV requires. So... Right now we've got four items plugged into, you know, one outlet. So. so how does this work? So we have our lights here, and the lights shine out all over the place, and then something reflects back into the camera. And so right now I have just a little pencil. Let's get that kind of... So you can see it's just a pencil. But then I have a little piece of tape on it, and that gray piece of tape is really reflective uh, material that I found at Walmart um, in the camping section. And so what it does is, if you hold it just right, you can do a circle, and it'll read it as a circle. I've changed out the system, and some things have definitely changed. So right now I'm not using the Raspberry Pi. I'm actually using one of the little microcontrollers, just like we have in the lantern. Um, that actually connects to a relay right over here, and it controls this awesome Halloween pumpkin, and it turns it on and off. And so right now that that Arduino is running the blink sketch, as some of you know, it just turns something on and off. Um, and right now that is um, pen number, I think, 13 on the Arduino. Turns it on and off, um, turns, turns the LED on and off just to show that that works. But with that, uh, you know, we can control this relay. And of course, you know, we can replace that Arduino with the Raspberry Pi, send the signal over to turn on the pumpkin and turn it off um, without having to change, um, you know, a lot of wiring and everything. So the only downside, of course, is that this, um, this relay here does make a clicking sound and you can kind of hear that in the background so something like this we, we would put high high up in this setup we've got the Raspberry Pi connected to the TV and there's a video stored on the Raspberry Pi and so it stops and when the correct spell 
is performed as you can see when the the video is played. So that's just a little tour of what we've got going on. Um, really trying to make this something cool and something special that, that anybody can use, everybody can use. Uh, from the, the wands, uh, right now we are 3D printing wands and then we put a dowel in them. Um, and the dowel for us is eight millimeters, so we just put it into, uh, we use actually Tinkercad, and then have a MakerBot, or a, yeah, MakerBot, uh, 3D print out the, kind of the bottom half of the wands, we put that dowel in there and put the, that really sticky um, piece on there, if that doesn't stick we do some glue, um, we found that to be very, very reflective, um, and, and to help this system set up. Uh, I kind of showed you how when we do the final setup, um, this is all going to be kind of locked in place and we're going to redo that training on those uh, images. So we're going to do a heck of a lot more triangles. We're going to design some floorings just like they have at Harry Potter World and Universal Studios uh, just to help the kids learn. Um, we're going to put, uh, it's, it's just a fantastic little little program that, that we've designed so thanks for sticking around thanks for watching um, and I hope you have a great day thanks